we're under instructions by our commander in chief to hush up on those about those subjects. So I'm just seeing what y'all got going on for this Friday. Seeing what the gospel is, the good news, or what the problems are. Maybe we can get some problem solving in. What y'all up to? What's the day's stresses? Hancho, you still got some of that liquid silver? Absolutely. Westcoastcam.com. Ionic colloidal silver. Um, I actually been delayed on getting some, some orders out. But um, they're going out today and tomorrow. But definitely check out my website. Westcoastcam.com for sure. What y'all got going on though, man? I want to I do some troubleshooting. Let's do some problem solving right quick. I can't talk about the political business and I can't talk about, uh, you know, no, no war stuff in details. I'm under instructions by my commander in chief. As you know, I'm a follower, I'm a soldier. So I'm not a blind follower. Everybody's a follower. If they say they ain't, they lying. Um, Dr. Lee Banks going through it, trying to educate my, um, Black women, relatives about, uh, yeah, about the VP. What's a good way to approach it? Just data. It ain't it ain't about emotions. You know, if if people is being led by emotions, then it's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is hit them with the data, hit them with the receipts, hit them with the information. They gonna if they if they ruled by emotions, that's why we being told to be quiet right now, because our people is ruled. They've been ruled by their emotions. Somebody has put an emotional battery, emotional bomb in their back <laughs> and it has gone off. So it ain't no, you know, whatever data that we've been laying out for the last year or two or four or whatever, you know, me even longer than that, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. Same with my body, my choice. You're going to do what you're going to do. You, you know what that is. You know, so if you just looking for somebody, some big majority crowd to say it's OK, then that's what you was looking for. <laughs> you know, you you know what the data is. So that's, you know, you just got to let them do what they choose. Let them choose what they choose. They was they have been informed. So it's time to be quiet. Let, let God speak or let them let they let them act and let them see what their reaction going to be. Because I, I have never seen such mass emotional psychosis in my life. I just, you know, so I, it, it was good because I was really getting kind of stressed and a headache and like, dang, my people, my people, my people. And if those people believe in this system, then let them have it. If we believe, if our people believe in this system, let them have it. If you believe in this system, you can have it. It's incredible. It's totally incredible. That, that, that Jim Jones juice, that Fauci Jones juice. <laughs> yeah, if they, if, they, if they did that, then, you know, what won't they do? If they went for that, what won't they do? Cause that wasn't, that wasn't even a benefit. Like this delusion, this magic trick looks like it benefits the masses, especially of our emotional, you know, gender, the emotional gender, this, this magic trick, boy, it's like that Daffy Duck. <laughs> you can only do this trick once some, add some nitroglycerin and add some TNT. <laughs> This bomb that they said, oh boy, you can only do this trick once and stand back. <laughs> Y'all remember that Daffy Duck little episode? Spencer for hire, they will soon see talking to some people is like talking to a brick wall. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll cook for food. Our people put way too much stock in being comfortable. Exactly. And are we even comfortable? Comfortable with crumbs comfortable with a slave portion that's the cold part that's not even comfort comfortable with being uncomfortable comfortable with being a slave powerless disunited so if 
that's what you want, if you feel like you you you, you going you gonna see that American dream, then <laughs> have at it. Gorilla T beats. Um, I'm ready to take my shahada. I mean, you already took it. That's not it's not even a formal thing. You know, if you say you're ready, that means you really already took it. You know, all, all you're doing is acknowledging facts. Or, you know, you can acknowledge what you believe based on facts. Never believe something just because somebody said you should believe it. Belief, true belief is, and faith is supposed to be based on some type of provable, tangible facts, evidence. So nobody can make you believe a believer but your own self. Yeah, okay, somebody lay, lay the facts out enough, then it's it's not even nothing to believe. It's just like, okay, do you believe one plus one equals two? Is that belief or is that, you know, knowledge? Um, no, nah, I didn't write nothing for uh, Snoop, but, but one blood, one cuz. Spencer for high. We must learn to garden and get prepared to feed ourselves, yeah? garden and, and, and raise animals. Like, you know, shouts out to my brothers, my, my brown, my Mexican brothers and sisters. Like, I, I was raised in Compton and East LA, Compton Watts. So before, you know, stuff started getting whatever tricky, it was, especially in Compton, it was, it was chickens everywhere. It was feed stores. Like, that's all we did was, you know, my SA homies, you know, they used to roll, they used to roll roosters, you know what I'm saying? But going through Compton, it was all farms. It was all farms. All you heard, is, all you heard is, is every day, every morning, you know what I'm saying? Is, is chickens and roosters. We didn't know. We didn't know where chickens come from. You go to, you go to the grocery store and buy some chickens. We thought chickens came from the grocery store or from Popeye's. We didn't know chickens came from exactly what the, the homies, the, you know, Mexican homies was doing ne right next door. They was getting fresh eggs every day. They was having chicken, whatever, every day. And the, the, the life cycle, how quick the chickens grow, like that was your grocery store right there. Cows and goats. So they had milk, cow milk, goat milk every day. We didn't know. We thought milk came from the store. We thought milk came in a carton. <laughs> so we didn't know. So we got to definitely get back to that. We was the slave people. We was the masters of all of that. We was the masters of farming and agriculture and animal husbandry. We was the masters of that. We just got traumatized by it because we was forced to do it through torture and torment, and terrorism and violence. So we wouldn't get no benefits out of it that we that we recognized because it was we was slaves, you know. But now once we supposedly free we don't want to do none of that we don't even want to know how that works so now we mad at our mexican brothers and sisters because they maintain that knowledge and they know how to do it and they don't mind doing it you know what i'm saying we didn't turn into some spoiled brats or some 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 powerless unable to survive on our own spoiled brats so now nah. Get you some land, get you a little yard, half acre or something like that. Get you a little field, grow you a, some, some some plants, learn how to grow you some fruits and vegetables. But, you know, that's going to take a minute. That's seasonal. But the chickens, the chickens and the goats and the cows, that's every day. That's an everyday grocery store, every morning. Fresh eggs every morning, fresh raw milk from grass-fed cows, you know what I'm saying? You controlling what they eat. Ain't no pesticides and hormones or whatever getting sprayed. If you got a dog, if you got a dog, then you can have a goat, you can have a cow, you can have a sheep, a lamb. Them three right there, sheep, goat, and a cow. A female cow, you don't need no bull, you know, tearing you, <laughs> tearing you up. A female cow, a milk cow, a goat, you know, preferably a female, you know what I mean? That's secondary for goat's milk and stuff like that and those that might eat goat. Um, and chickens, 
chickens, you're going to be right with chickens. Just have a gang of chickens. They, you know, they're going to be noisy in the morning, but they'll they'll, they'll be an alarm clock at 5 o'clock in the morning. And you can't get, you know, so sentimental because you're going to be killing them. <laughs> you're going to be eating them. That's where, that's where chickens come from. And that's a good lesson for your children to learn and you to learn to respect life. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get to liking and loving the pets and taking care of the pets. But you know you're taking so good care of them, you treat them like a family member because you're going to slaughter them. And you're going to slaughter them the halal way or the kosher way, meaning they're not going to know they're about to be slaughtered. This is where food come from. You like meat? You like red meat? You like chicken? That's how chickens, that's what they, how they supposed to be slaughtered. But the chicken, the food that we ain't eat ain't slaughtered like that. They slaughtered in stressed out, inhumane, you know what I'm saying, conditions. That's why the the, the meat is so poisonous because they dumping all kind of adrenaline, you know what I'm saying, all kind of toxic, you know, hormones and chemicals from them being stressed and frightened all into their meat. That's not how you slaughter animals. You got to slaughter animals like they your pets. You raise them, they love you. They running up to you every day because they love you. You just got to be, you know what I'm saying, like, you got to know, like, I'm fattening you up for the slot. I'm treating you good because you're going to treat me good and my family come Thanksgiving or whatever. <laughs> but that's how it works. That's how life works. Cycle of life. Life feeds on life. 